This man suffers from cervical spondylosis, an ailment believed to afflict only the elderly. But seeing this young man in a neck collar brings a lot of questions to the mind. How can this be? Imagine the depth of pain and trauma he is undergoing. He has been to a lot of places in search of solution, but all efforts proved abortive. I'm below, man. I'm 32 years old. I realized I was feeling pain on the neck. When I did it, they told me cervical spondylosis. Ah, the doctor said they were shocked that at this age, I shouldn't be suffering from such a, a problem. That at least somebody from 60 and above that are supposed to be witnessing such. And ever since then, you get I've been maintaining treatment, and uh, you get I didn't get an adequate result that yes I feel I needed. Tomorrow will make it the fifth week that yes I've been on the cola. And I'm going to use it for six weeks. The, the cola has to be there. I sleep with it, you get And at the same time, you know, when I started using the cola newly, I wasn't comfortable. It's like uh, they, they put something, you know, tie my neck. But at least, like the doctor said, that that's how it's going to be. But subsequently, you get I'm going to be used to it. Going around with the cola is absurd. Psychologically, based on the fact that the talk talk told me that, yes, if I try, I must experience this. It's supposed to be 60 years and above. So why at this stage I'm having subsequent? And honestly, I'm not always happy. At the point, if I turn the neck, it'll find the spinal cord. I could barely walk a distance. I will be feeling a uh, waste uh, pain. But you know, meanwhile, I've been to different places, church, mosque, hospitals. I spent a lot. I spent a lot. So I'm here. All I want is to be free from the sickness bondage. Spirit of God is the spirit of truth. What do I mean by that? Truth and fact are two different people. I didn't say different words. I said different people. Facts can change. Truth is constant. The truth is that Jesus has come to bring healing. He has come to deliver the oppressed by his stripes. You are healed. The power of God is to bring the truth to destroy the facts. The servant of God not only teaches the word, but in a Christ-like spirit, Senior Prophet G.F. Adetubero is moved by compassion to minister to Mr. Belo, who has been afflicted with this neck pain for the past four years. What to you, sir? No, sit down, sir. I I did the test in the UCH, you get, and uh, the doctor told me I have uh, cervical spondylosis. So the thing is actually waking me internally, and at the same time, I'm not feeling too good generally inside. How many years? That was uh, four years. Yeah. You believe that Jesus Christ will heal you? Yes, sir. Thank you. Please. Thank you. It's Miracle Ocean, and the man of God is on the healing line right, right now. He has started to minister to the sick, to the band, to the oppressed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for Jesus is with him. This man has been suffering from cervical spondylosis all for the past four years. And the man of God is on, ministering to him. We saw that he came with oh, yeah. his neck collar. Right now, the man of God just ministered to him and asked to do what he could not Jeffrey. do before now. To the Jeffrey. glory of God, is he kept free. You, Put your hands Thank together. You, this man, who was in a neck collar for the past five weeks, receives instant healing and is here now, testifying to the Lord's goodness and healing in his life. He moves his neck with ease and acts that only the power of the Most High God can do. I'm Bailey Usman Adidayo by name. I've been suffering from uh, cervical spondylosis since last 20 years. I asked the doctor, what's the meaning of cervical spondylosis? So the doctor was aging of the bone. I say at this age. The doctor said what? Aging of the bone. Aging of the bone. That means yeah. your bone was aging. aging. Faster than your age. age. Uh, giving you that neck collar, what did the doctor tell you that the neck collar uh, would be doing? Mm, well, I didn't ask uh, much details. But uh, according to the doctor, he said, well, for the drugs he gave me to work, I have to be on that neck collar so that that neck collar will grip the neck 
So whatever drugs I use can penetrate to wherever the pain is. So I was just walking on the street when a particular woman called me that uh, she felt for me about the sickness. That uh, if she would advise me, she has a place that if she direct me to go, I will receive it. And uh, if I don't mind, and I say, well, no problem, go and taste it. I didn't know her. I didn't she know was her. a total stranger she to you. She was a total stranger to me. I didn't know her. That day, were you wearing your neck collar? Yeah, I was on the neck collar. So she saw your neck collar with you? So I came here on that Wednesday. So when the minister of God ministered to me that Wednesday, he asked me whether or not I believe if I will receive healing here. I say, well, I believe. So the minister of God ministered to me that uh, Wednesday, and uh, ever since then, you get, there is positive changes wow. ever since that time. So that's why I'm here to give the testimony. And that day when you got to the healing line, how were you thinking that the man of God will minister to you? Although I was expecting it to be more prolonged than uh, what he did. He gave that... You know, when they just touch it and they ask it to go, I was like, ah. so based on faith, me, I just walk out How long so, have you been wearing the neck collar? That's, tomorrow would have make it uh, six weeks. That you've been wearing the neck collar consistently? Yes. yes. And that day, the man of God asked that your neck collar be removed. And the man of God said you should go ahead and do what you could not do before then. And in faith, you responded to the... Yeah. Did you feel anything in your body that day? Well, I feel ease when he removed the cervical cola, like something was cold on my neck. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Mom. And how much did you pay that day? I didn't pay that. What, what and what you could not do with the neck? Go ahead and do it. Wow. Let's put our hands together to appreciate God. So, sir... God has visited you for a reason, for the salvation of your soul. Congratulations once again, Sam. Thank you for coming to share your testimony with us. Please subscribe, follow, and like our pages on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. God bless you. It is well, so well, with your soul.